Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, where it is written. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars of the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. And Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. And when the steward tasted the water that had become wine, he did not know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. They kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this. The first of his signs in Cana of Galilee revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Making a positive difference in the lives of people. That's Jesus Christ. It's not about, well, accept me as your Lord and Savior, so when you die, you won't go to hell. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but also, before you die, in this life, make a positive difference in the lives of others. They're both true. And we see the request of his mother. And something that really bothers me. Many people want to say, Oh, he rebuked his mother saying, Ugh, don't waste my time. Uh, no. Woman, it's an English translation. It's like saying, uh, ma'am, in the South. It's a very respectful term. Uh, he respectfully addresses her like, uh, my time's not, mother, woman, my time's not here yet. But still he gets up and he goes, she just says it, son, help them, they're in trouble. In this culture, running out of wine would be an embarrassment that follows a family around for generations. It would have ruined them. Mary doesn't want to see that happen, so she says, Jesus, do something. Okay. He goes and does it. He turns water into wine. If this was a rebuke around the lines of, don't waste my time, why do you obey her? Well, he did, and saved the family a lot of embarrassment. And he made a positive difference in the lives of other people. An example, then, that's similar to the positive difference we should make in other people's lives. Save them embarrassment, save them a headache, save them trouble, do the best we can. And it was not just a random act of kindness. Because of what he did, the disciples believed in him. So, also the lesson to us is that God answers prayer. His mother said, son, do this. Okay, he did it. He didn't have to, but he did it, because that's who he is. So likewise, we should have the confidence that when we pray, God hears us, and why doesn't have to do anything, eh, I'll do it, because that's who he is. He wants us to make a positive difference in the lives of other people, as he demonstrated by leading by example. So our prayer should be, God, open our eyes. And by our prayers, give us the grace to make a positive difference in the lives of others. So let's pray that right now. Lord, we thank you for helping these people out at the wedding. And by your example, Lord, help us to be a positive difference in the lives of others, so that through the positive difference, your gospel may be known. Amen.